So uh, a lot of the nation is getting a tan today. Meteorologist Joe Hansel here. Let me explain. Wind advisory and the tan shade, high wind warnings, and kind of the yellowish shade for much of the Great Lakes and surrounding regions. We're talking wind gusts today with a strong area low pressure powering through the Great Lakes, 40, 50, 60 plus mile per hour are possible. A lot of storm warnings for uh, local uh, marine craft. Great Lakes, damaging winds will be possible out there. I will give a quick update on the tropics. There is Hurricane Iota, 31st named storm of this record-setting Atlantic hurricane season. It's a Category 1 storm as of the 4 a.m. update. It's going to make a beeline right west towards recently hit Honduras and Nicaragua, and it will possibly go through rapid intensification, Category 3, even a Category 4 in the forecast by tomorrow afternoon. Back to the U.S., we have an area low pressure over the Great Lakes, showers, thunderstorms, wintry mixes, all possible. Another front out of the northwest still watching for some heavy precip. And also heavy snow in areas of the Rockies and Cascades. Once again, that purple shade in the northern Cascade Mountains of Washington State, that's like two, three plus feet of snow. East of the cold front, watching for damaging winds with a marginal risk of severe weather includes Washington, D.C., Baltimore, New York City, Philadelphia. As that front arcs southeast of that area of low pressure, it'll drop some shower storms and watching for some more rain and mountain snow to work in from the Pacific in the coming days as well.